friends, before we start today's episode, I have some news for you. We have added a new member in our cutesy bootsy family called Baby Binox, which is basically a smaller version of your beloved friend, that is, me. So, do not forget to watch the Baby Binox show to make it a hit. The link is in the description. Now, let's get started with your favorite show. Oh, I won, you blinked, blinked, blinked. I won, little kitty. Hmm, wait a minute. But the question is, why do we blink? Oh, hello, friends. I'm sure, just like me, this question may have popped up in your mind as well. So, in today's episode, let us find the answer to a flickering question. And that is, why do we blink? Zoom in! Blinking is a bodily function. It is a semi-automatic rapid closing of the eyelids that works like windshield wipers for your eyes. It happens so quickly that it doesn't affect or disturb your sight. But why do we blink in the first place? Well, blinking shields your eyes from drying out by watering or moisturizing them with the help of oil, mucus, water over the eyeballs. And it takes only a tenth of a second to do so. Not only that, as you know, if something goes into your eyes, it could be very painful and irritating. So blinking also guards your eyes against foreign particles such as dust, dirt, animal dander, etc. with the help of your eyelashes. Yes, my friends, those elegant eyelashes aren't just there for making you look cute and adorable. They work a bit like a feather duster, collecting tiny particles before they can reach or attach to your eyeballs. But although blinking seems to be a tiny spontaneous bodily functionality, Recent studies have shown that the exact moments when we blink aren't random but specific. For example, while reading, we usually blink after each sentence is finished. While for a person listening to a speech, it frequently comes when the speaker takes a pause between statements. Interesting, isn't it? Not only that, but studies have also shown that within that tiny moment of blinking, mental activity increases in the brain's area called default mode network or DMN, which is a network of interacting brain regions that is active when a person is not focused on the outside world. Whereas mental activity decreases in the area that controls your attention. So, based on this research, experts reach to a conclusion that blinking serves as a mental break, allowing for increased attention capacity when the eyes are opened again. I know what you guys are thinking. Why doesn't it go dark when we blink? Well, that's because the human brain has the power to ignore the temporary blackout. As we know, we see objects when light falls on the object and reflects back on our eyes and falls on the retina that turns light into signals to images that the brain can understand. And our brain retains the last image we see before blinking and use it to fill the blackout part, making it look like one continuous image. Trivia time! Did you know an average person blinks 12 times per minute or about 10,000 blinks per day? Also, babies blink far less than adults. Only one or two times per minute and no one knows exactly why is it so. It's question time! How many times does an average person blink per minute? 
Do write your answer in the comments section below and hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't yet to be a part of the Peekaboo Kids cutesy beautsy family and get a chance to get it featured by the end of our videos. So, here are the winners of the previous episode. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox. Zooming out. Oh, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.